Put it on the wing. Feel the pressure. Take a step back. Scared as heck. Right. Let's see how it goes. Okay, I'm off for another flight. Um, it's been a while. Uh, Obviously there was the broken arm in the summer, then I couldn't fly for a long time. And I think I've only flown once since then, if I remember. It's now January and two days before my 50th birthday. Whoa. Um, so, <laughs> so a little, uh, a little, my last forties flight, my last flight in my forties, I guess. Um, so looking forward to it. I don't know if I'm gonna get airborne actually. I'm driving through the Peak District. I'm really high up at the moment, I'm about, 1200 feet up or something probably the highest point that I ever drive around here and uh, the clouds aren't very high up and it's a little bit murky it's flyable legally um, so we'll see I'm gonna go down to the field down near Chesterfield where a few of the people fly see if anybody's flying see if it's flyable oh dear I'm just looking ahead of me there are literally hills not higher than not much higher than me just poking up and um, I'm just passing by the way one of the sites that I often fly from but there's nobody there and um, fancied flying with some people today uh, especially being as it's been so long and the field I'm going to now is actually the field that I broke my arm so I might wander down to uh, to the bit of wall see see what state it's in apparently the farmer was cool with it he didn't mind um, <laughs> even having my uh, car parked there for six weeks afterwards he didn't seem to mind that so very nice farmer what a good bloke oh it's so beautiful here i can never move i'm looking out the window look, look at this look at this look at that look at this just absolutely stunning that is the western edge of sheffield just there so you've got sheffield and i'm literally on the borderline of the peak district this is the peak district that i'm uh, driving along the edge of here um and it's unbelievable you can live in the city 10 minutes and you're out in the peaks a look at that, it's just fantastic. I can even see the hospital down there. Let's hope we don't have another visit to one of those places. Well, it looks like I'm going into fog, so I'm um, up at the top of Stony Ridge, um, just in the Peak District, and um, yep, I've hit clouds. So I'm guessing, unless it clears dramatically, there will be no flying today, unfortunately. Grr. Um, anyway, maybe I'll get to chat a bit of uh, paracrap with his people. All right, latest aviators. Well, I'm here and um, in some directions it's totally clear. That way I can see for mm, five, ten kilometers, something like that. That way I can see about one and a half or two. So any flying in that direction is a no-no. As you can see, there's a um, blue, blue sky, so it's possible to get up above the cloud and um, that should be nice up there. Um, that direction, not so much. Uh, I'm going to leave it a bit to see what, uh, to see if it clears at all, um, and see if anyone else turns up. But a couple of people are going to go, so let's watch that. I don't know how well this is going to work because I might be too close to it up in the air, but this is a bit of a test. See if we can uh, get things, get this party started. Helmet on, glasses on, leg strap. In we get, first time in a while. Oh dear. Nerves are going, nerves are going. Second flight since the accident, and I haven't flown for about three or four months. Ground handling strap. Chest strap. Okay, hopefully you can see me. Let's try and tip that back a bit. Right, flight deck, don't know if you can see that, is all set up. I haven't turned on my paramotor. No, I have now. Stand up.
make sure that 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 one is in and he's put it in backwards when I'm up. This side. Right, this is the easy bit. Just going through all the checks, but it's also the bit where it's easy to screw up. All right, I think that's probably at the wrong angle actually. I might have to play around with that. Throttle. Leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine is my chin strap. Oh yeah. Ten is my new thing, which is my little cruise control that I might not even have to use now, if you remembered it. Right, so we've got all ten checks are done. Central on the wing. Feel the pressure. Take a step back. Scared as heck. Right, Let's see how it goes. Yeah. 